My name is Terry Jorgensen, and I'm a professional fashion photographer. And I'm here to give you tips today on shooting on location and making creative type shots really simple. Usually what I do when I'm on location is I will set my camera into auto mode, take a picture, and then look at the back and see what the camera has chosen for the aperture, the shutter speed, and the ISO setting. Then I go into manual mode and I put the camera on those settings that the camera has chosen in, in auto mode. I'll put the, the aperture, the shutter speed, and the ISO. The one thing that you have to notice is the ISO when you're in the auto mode. Sometimes it'll set that ISO at ISO 1600, 800, or 3200, some high number like that, so that when you switch into manual mode and you try to use the same aperture and the same shutter speed, it's going to come out underexposed. So make sure that when you put it into the manual mode that you compensate for the difference between the app, the ISO with the camera sets at and one that's more of an acceptable like ISO 100 or ISO 200 and then make the necessary corrections or compensation with the shutter speed. Doing it that way saves a lot of time over having to fumble and take five or six different pictures in order to get the uh, exposure correct into your liking. Now you're probably wondering why I don't use aperture priority or shutter priority. It's simple. I want to have total control over my images. So what I do, just to refresh, is I put the camera into auto mode, take a picture, make a note of the settings that the camera has chosen while in the auto mode, and use that as a starting point to make my images and have total control over the images. I hope that helps, and thank you for listening, and we'll have more tips to come. Thank you.